Okay, so let's talk about accessing AbleSet remotely. So obviously on my computer, I've got my set list set up here in Safari. I can control AbleSet uh, from Safari. Uh, and this works really, really well. And we've talked about how to do this and how to control uh, AbleSet with, uh, with success this way. But one of the real big powers of AbleSet is the ability to use and access AbleSet remotely from a remote device. The key to make this happen is your device has to be on the same network as your computer running uh, Ableton Live and AbleSet. Because essentially what happens is, is that generates a server, which then other devices connect to, uh, which is how that happens. Now, um, I'm going to do this by using my phone. So I have my phone here uh, that is connected to wireless to Wi-Fi, which is on the same network as my computer. But I, I'm gonna ask that you do as I say, not as I do. I would not suggest doing this over Wi-Fi unless this is a very low level thing like, hey, we're starting tracks at the beginning of a set. If it were to not work, then a roadie could run out and press play on our computer or pull this up on a computer. It's best to do this wired. Now, before I show you how to do this wirelessly, you're going, but Will, how do I do this if this is wired? If I wanna make, you know, if, if I wanna use my iPhone and connect wired or a computer, uh, what do we do to make this happen? Well, it's important if you wanna do this wired to have a network switch. So we won't go in depth about this in this lesson, but know that you could set up a network switch. You would want your main computer connected here, maybe a backup computer, uh, any external devices that you have, you want them connected to the network switch as well too. And you're going, but Will, how do we do that? Well, I actually, Go figure, have one of these adapters right here because I'm working on some other content I can show you. This, in my case, my phone is lightning. So I have a lightning adapter here that's connecting to ethernet. Um, and uh, that is how you could connect your phone to ethernet to keep it wired, keep your iPad wired. Um, again, computers, you would want to uh, keep those wired so that they're all communicating on the same network. And again, the key here is same network, not internet. They do not need access to the internet. Uh, they just need to be on the same network. Okay, now let's let's get to this. First, before I go to my phone, uh, I'm gonna go back up to AbleSet and you can see this information right here. Uh, if I'm accessing AbleSet on my computer, I'm gonna use this host name here. If I wanna access it remotely, I wanna use this IP address. So uh, you can click here to copy the IP address. I've actually already got this copied on my phone. So what I'm gonna do is uh, show you my phone here. Then we're gonna jump over and I'm gonna just paste this IP address right here in my web browser and I'm gonna click go, okay? So now when I go, what you're gonna see is basically I get access to AbleSet, the same AbleSet on my phone that's over on my computer here, okay? So if I go to Safari and I'm scrolling around, you can see I have access to the same Ableton Live set here that I have here, which is really cool. And what's nice about this is every single person that wants to use AbleSet like this can create basically their own view. So one, I could be locked out of this to where I actually can't play or do anything, which is great. Um, but I could do just a full lyrics view to where I just see lyrics. Uh, and I can just see lyrics for a specific song and see that uh, essentially full screen, or I can go back here and let's exit that. Uh, I could go to performance view and click that. And again, customize performance view the way I want on my device. So maybe I actually don't need song descriptions. I don't need tempo, uh, maybe current next, but time signature duration, time code, quick play, next song. Uh, I don't need those, so I close that out. And basically I get my own version of AbleSet here. And again, I can control Ableton Live remotely uh, by clicking on my device. So this is actually something cool to show you. Let me go over to Ableton Live. Uh, and let's just pull up, um, well, I'll just show you Ableton Live. So uh, if you see Ableton, what I'm gonna do is press play on my phone. Uh, so I'm playing there, right? If I wanna restart song, I can click restart song and show you over in live how that's gonna actually restart it. Um, I could go and navigate the set list from my device too. So let's go back over here. Let's close performance view. Uh, let's go up to this song here, right? And so we're gonna jump up to haven't seen it yet. And then again, that's going to correspond and um, that's going to jump over in Ableton as well too, which is really, really cool. So you can see now we're already to our next song there, which is neat. So we can pause. So this is super helpful uh, in a couple different ways. One, it's important to note with the new performance view, everyone can customize their own view of performance view. Everyone can have it pulled up on their device, have just lyrics, have 
um, uh, chords, have song information, just time code, whatever they want, they can view on their particular device to get a custom view. Um, you could have multiple devices as long as they're on the same network. And again, you could one control Ableton Live this way remotely, or it could be just view only access uh, remotely, which is super, super helpful. So um, that's a look at how to access Ableton remotely. Again, main thing here is it doesn't require internet, make sure you're on the same network. And if you need a network switch to do that, please do that. Do that over wireless, even though again, I know I showed you on wireless, please do that wired whenever possible.